So we had a patient who had previously been treated for a pituitary tumor who was trying to become pregnant and she showed up to her primary care physician. They measured HCG in her serum, which is what we typically measure to, to detect pregnancy. And it was positive, which indicated pregnancy, and it was climbing at the intervals that are expected with normal pregnancy. And then all of a sudden, just kind of plateaued. And typically, in a normal pregnancy, we expect to see it double about every couple days. And so the clinician thought maybe it was ectopic pregnancy, where the fertilized embryo lands somewhere outside of the uterus. So they worked her up for that, they treated her appropriately, and normally following appropriate treatment, the HCG levels are going to start to drop off. And following treatment, they still stayed totally flat. So they then came to us and said, you know, what is this? So we did some studies in the lab, and we ruled out any interfering substance. It appeared that it really was HCG. We measured some other things to kind of rule out a pituitary source. And so we came back and said, this is probably still ectopic pregnancy. You, re you need to manage this patient. You need to be concerned about this. So they went back and treated her again. And fortunately, following the second treatment, the HCG then dropped off. We were able to give the, the clinical team some really actionable, meaningful advice. And uh, that allowed them to take action and treat the patient appropriately in a timely fashion, rather than waiting and waiting and waiting until that patient's symptoms got severe and there were more dangerous complications they were able to take action and she emerged from this potentially really damaging situation pretty much unscathed. So I'm Dr. Rob Nairns, I'm the Assistant Director of Clinical Chemistry at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center.